It has been a while since Sapphire saw his, his, his sister and ever since he stopped working in Maid Had. He had been working so much so that he had asked his boss for for some time off. And since there was going to be the winter holiday soon. So his boss allowed him to take a break from about about a week. As Sephir, he was very just happy to go back to Ponyville to see his sister. Even they weren't much as a at before the words much as a speaking term. But it's after he got his work, then he has started talking again. But now he wants to see her because they haven't seen each other for at least a couple of months. But when he came to Ponyville, he couldn't see her, not anywhere in town. But then he saw Rainbow, and she just sighed and thought, Oh no, what is he doing here? And he walked up to her, but he didn't act as his humor usually do. He just asked her where if she had seen Fluttershy, because they were supposed to be meeting at the train station. And Rainbow was just curious, is he acting up as unusual way, or is he trying to mature up? Then he asked her again, and Rainbow said that he might be at her cottage. So he thanked her and went away. Even when Rainbow just looked after him, he thought, she thought maybe that something is but weird. He normally normally would try to like flirting with her or something, but not this time. It was something unusual in a way. I get it at the cottage. Flattish I was taking care of some of the animals that normally stay for the winter, especially Angel, her per, her pet. And there were a few other, other animals that she took care of. But when she heard a knock on the door, she opened and was surprised to see Zephyr. But she realized then that she, she was supposed to be meeting him at the train station. She apologized because she had forgot about it was today. And but now when she started meet feeding her animal friends, she had totally lost forgot about time. He said, that, he said that he appalled the apology accepted and asked if he could come in. And he, she let him in. Then Fratishai made some tea and they stopped talking. They had been writing letters back and forward to each other. And Fratishai then asked what he's going to do during his winter break. He said that he was thinking about visiting their parents for the holiday and that he was just stopping by to see how his your older sister is and sort of things had happened over. and she said that everything was fine but then she mentioned that their parents aren't home then he asked where they are he was told that their parents was going to see some old friends from school back in in Trottingham and they will not be their home for after the holiday. So he maybe said then he said Alright I may just book me the train second back home to Maidhead and then celebrate the holiday there. But the Fantasy Giant then stopped him, what about you celebrating here with me? And maybe some of our friends can came over during the day and maybe he's something something. At first he was a bit skeptical because he had over time realized that most of her friends weren't much as uh, kind of him. Well they didn't much of didn't well they didn't like his personality. And he even said that to her. And Fratishai Please, Zephyr, give them a chance to get to know you better. And he said yes. But since the holiday was only about two days ahead, and Fratishai has still yet not been able to get some of the, some of the food they need, so 
So fear is that he can go through market to the other things we get to the things they needed. And she was a bit skeptical, but he promised he would get the things they need and come back home. So Frater Jai made a list of things that they needed. So he went to town the same day. First he went to the market to buy some some fruits he had, some vegetables, and into one of the stores for some snacks and some sweets they would need. And then he even went to the sugar corner to ask if they had some cupcakes. And Pinky were at the store at the moment. And she thought, okay, Sophia is back and then prepared to be flirting. But he was serious. He asked for a, a few, maybe a six cupcakes and maybe a pie or something. And then he asked her if she would like maybe come over on the holiday with their friends, maybe have some, have some tea, talk a little bit, maybe play some games or something. And the first pinky was smiling and said, yeah, I, but then he said, I understand if you are busy that day and you can't come or your friends can't. We would understand that. We had to do. So, but yeah, if you have any, if you if you can't, just let me know or pass. You must just know if you can't. So that would probably be all. How much for this? And Pinky said the amount of money that he needed to pay, and he paid and left. Pinky, she was just surprised, but he. Just rough it off and continue to work as normal. And then the next same day, even Fluttershy was surprised, surprised that he actually got all the things they needed. With the food, the sweets, and, and the pie for themselves. And even other things that were needed. And even he made the dinner just for them. And she was surprised how, mad, how well she had been doing it in, um, as the, in cooking. He explained that he had been taking the cooking lessons in back in Manhattan. And surprising, he was quite good at it. But the next day, Fluttershy were busy with her friends in town. So Saphir, he walked around in town just for himself. Mingle around and talk to a few ponies in a park, in a market, just asking how they were, how did they, having a good day, and sort of things. So, it wasn't something much different. But when he then walked by the Ponyville Spa, he saw this big white stallion walking around, just left the spa and walked somewhere else. He couldn't stop feeling his heart was racing faster when he saw him. He had no idea who he was, except that he was quite handsome. So he decided to ask his sister if she knows who that is. And she went to the when they went back to his to her cottage. Francis Johnny was surprised to see that he was back, and he was just laying on the couch, reading a book. Then, after they had some tea, he just came up with a thought about asking her, So, Fluttershy, um, there is something I want to ask you. And Fluttershy thought, Okay, what is he going to ask now? But she said, Yeah, what is it? Um, I did see some pony in town, and I'm just curious, do you know that, that particular pony is? She was surprised because he has never even asked that kind of question before. But maybe this is something something new to talk about. So she asked who this mare or stallion or who it was. She said it was a white stallion, and he were like a he was well trained. We came out from the from the Ponyville spa, and she fought. And she fought, and I came out, came to her. Oh, that's bulk biceps. 
uh, yeah, he works different from part-time work, and even as a wonderful trainee. That surprised him. A wonderful trainee and works at the spa. What do you ask? At first, at first, Safir didn't know what to answer, but then he started blushing and he said, well, I don't know, but this might sound weird. But when I saw him, my heart was racing faster. I mean, seriously, that has never happened to me before. And she was surprised. Turns out that Zephyr had fallen in love with bulk biceps. Are you sure about that? She asked. Y yeah, it has never happened to me before. I thought maybe there's something wrong or... Well, to me it sounds like you're falling in love. And that made him realize it himself. Do you, do you think so? It is possible. Did you even talk to him? Uh, no, I was... I, I, even I didn't know if I was in love with him then, I mean, since you never been in love before. That's correct. The rest of the night, the rest of the evening, Sophia was just sitting on the couch, staring at the roof, and was quiet. Fred shy, she tried to talk to him, but he didn't respond. She thought maybe it was something, something was wrong. She asked him, but serious tone, if something was wrong. He looked at her and said, no. Just thinking, that's all. Even that night when he went to bed, he was still thinking about the bulk biceps. And the next day, to both Sophia and Fratishai's surprise, their friends even came to them. Even all of them. Rarity, Pinky, Twilight, everyone. And they were surprised that Zafir was actually acting more mature than the last time we saw him. And they just had some tea, had some snacks and small talk, even played some card games before they all had to go home. But they did mention about Zafir's possible crush on bulk biceps. Because he wanted to tell him to ask bulk biceps in person. But none of her, her friends did even know if bulk biceps were into mares or stallions or both. But that would be something that he would have to ask and find out by himself. A few days after the holiday, Sophia was walking around in town again, while, while Flat Shy was busy with some other animal friends and sort of things. Then he just while he was walking around, he didn't pay much attention when he walked. Until he walked into someone. And then he opened eyes and said, I'm sorry, I, I didn't see where I'm walking. It's okay. Uh, happens to me too. And he saw there was bulk biceps. He had literally walked into bulk biceps at the market. Oh, uh I am sorry I didn't see that. Um, I am Sophia Breeze. Yeah, I know. I met your sister the other day, and she told me about you here. Yeah, and your bulk biceps. She told me about you, and well, she told me most of her friends here. Yeah, they are a small town. You probably know each other after a while. So that happens. So, what brings you to the Ponyville? So Sophia explained that he was on holiday and he was supposed, supposed to be with his parents, but they were at home for the holiday. So he decided to send to see his sister. For strangely enough, both Bulk Bipsets and Sophia Breeze left the market together and walked to Sugar Corner to eat something. Maybe it's just have a small talk, get to know each other better. And he didn't ask her about how it likes to be in 
as a wonderful trainee, and he, then he explains that he likes it. Even if he might not be a Wonderbolt one day, he would still work at the, as a sir at the Spawnerville Spa. You are my sir. Hmm, that's interesting. You seem to be quite tense. Maybe you can have some massage at the Spawn itself. I can give you some one number someday. Thanks, that I would appreciate it. So they continued to talk. Then they came up to the, this the topic of what about personal life and well some like hobbies and sort of things happen. And then Sophia then asked if if he had some special sound pony somewhere. But Bolt Pines had said that he didn't have any special sound pony. And then he asked if maybe what what if he preferred stallions or mares or both. Just he was just but and then he explained that he's only curious because if you never know. And to big surprise, Bolt Bicep explained that he only preferred stallions. But then he said that he hasn't been with a stallion for at least a few years. He used to date a, a stallion when he was a bit younger. But unfortunately, it didn't last long. Most of two reasons, because at the time, both were one of an experience in relationship. He was still about 18 to 15, 17 years old when he had one. And the other thing that his boyfriend, his family, were moving to Manhattan. For his father had a better opportunity in work. So they had to move. They tried the long distance. But unfortunately, it didn't turn out. So, after that, he has been single for a few years. Then he asked if... If the fear had any special sound pony back in Manhattan. This was a big city. Well, he said that he did try dating, or at least speed dating, but... Nothing had turned out to be a massive success. But then he explained that... He tried to maybe dating a stallion, but it turns out his stallion was already taken, and or, or he wasn't even interested. So you're into the stallions too, right? He then Paul asked. Yeah, that's right. I haven't been, I haven't well been in the, any serious long relationship before, or particularly any. I know that it feels like. He said, hey, what about you and I maybe go out tomorrow? Can I go to the movies or something? Is it a good movie to go on? And Sophia had no idea what to say, but he said, yeah, sure. I mean, if you want to go, sure. They decided to meet at the, the, movie, at the movies at 5 p.m. When Sophia came back to Fluttershy's cottage, she asked him how his day were. He said, yeah, it was fine. It was just... Met some other friends and just talked and... And uh, Bog Bicep asked me out on a date tomorrow. And Fluttershy was just holding a plate. And she dropped it by shock. Bog Bicep asked you out? She asked. Yeah, that's true. She was surprised. But then he explained how much this conversation went. And he, she was pretty surprised still, but just supported. And promise me you not tell mom and dad about this or your friends. I mean, I just wanted to see if this relationship can work out as I hope for. And she promised. So for the next couple, after the next day, Bolt Bimestead and Sophia went to the movies. When, and even there, they had a great time watching a comedy movie, both laughing so much, and just. Even afterwards, around about 7 p.m., they both decided they, was, they were just getting hungry. So, and since the last. So they decided to go to a restaurant that was nearby. So, 
they used to mostly talk about the movie, what they thought about it, what scene was makes us funny, what I thought about characters, and and even then, Safir said that he had us a good time with him, and he wished that they could see each other even more often. And Safir, he actually said, "I think I have really fallen in love with you. I know that we haven't." We don't know each other so well, and we are only even on one one date. But the bulky bicep said, "I know how you feel, and I know what you mean. For I even I haven't known you for so long, I, I think I have fallen in love with you too. And I am willing to give this this new relationship a try. If you are willing to, to give it a try, and." Safir said that he was willing to do that. So the rest of the during his holiday there, they spent as much time they could. Maybe just walking around the town, go to to the park, just hang out, talking, and even had some small ball, small ball fights, and, or go to chicken corner, just have some something to eat, and just mostly chit chatting. But unfortunately, as the time went, Safir had to go back to Manhattan. And both of them said goodbye at the station. Even Fratishai was there to say goodbye, and she said that hope we can see each other again so soon. But as you can maybe can go to meet Adam to see me next time. We'll see, she said. So for next couple of days afterwards, Safir got a letter, but was not from Fratishai, from Bulky Pipes. Telling him that had he, he misses her, misses him so much, and that uh, he had a great time with him, and when he was staying in Pondville, hoping that they could see each other soon again, and and he was a great time. As the, as the months passed, summer arrived, and and that Safir had asked his boss for another holiday break, or at least maybe a couple of days of break. And since the the hairstyle, the main style they were working at, were going to take had to be closed for about a week. It turns out there were some water pipe problems in the in the facility, in the in the in the in the room where they were working at. So he had to take to take that that week off. So he went back to Poland. But he didn't mention that to Sophia, uh, to Bulky Bobsets, or his sister. He wanted to make that as a big surprise. And when Bulky Bobsets saw Sophia walking on the street, he was just like, "Da da 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 da, Sophia, what are you doing here? I'm on holiday break, and uh, so I thought maybe come here." Bulky Pipes had tried to act as normal, because most of the town pony knew that they were friends, but not as a as as a boyfriend. So they went to, to Bulky Pipes' home, just having some some tea, talking, and then just know what had happened in Manhattan, and he explained that the pipes and his work and his work were had some problems, so they had to be closed in the business for a while. And yeah, but when this week was over, Safir was about to go back home when he received a letter from his boss to Fladishai's home, telling him that he would had another week off because the pipe problem had just getting even worse, and some other business around the area had they had to cut off the water supply. For another week, because there was some pipe in the street that were bursting. So he said that he did say that to all the biceps, and he was just happy as well. Around this time, Bulk Bicep and Safir hadn't even told his parents about this yet. So the day after that, they went to see his parents with Fladishai as support, because Safir had no idea. How his parents would react that he was dating a stallion, but even both were nervous. But Vladishai 
she was a bit nervous as well because she even didn't have no idea how they, her parents would react, saying that she had kept this as a secret from them. But all the words for, for no reason. It turned out that both their parents were very open. They were open-minded. They were, but most of all, just proud. Their son had found his special special son pony, even though it was a stallion. But it turned out few a few of the father's friends were either into stallions or mares or even both. And he was proud to have friends and even a son who likes mares or stallions. And they were even surprised to see that it was actually bulk biceps. They had seen him a few times in Ponyville, and they had heard a lot about him from Fletcher. That he is a good friend, that he is a good massager at the, at the spa in Ponyville and sort of things. And even after that. But only then they were told, Sophia, they were supportive and just happy for them. But then, after being together for three years, Sophia had actually talked to his boss. What about they open a second facility of their main style salon, maybe in some other places? Like he explained that like Rarity had opened her boutique both in Manhattan and Candelot. So maybe they thought maybe he can open a second one maybe in Ponyville. And that he can start working there and hire some other ponies for working there. His boss was thinking about the idea and agreed. And he even made a promotion for Sephir. He is going to be the boss for that he's going to be the manager for that main style saloon in Polnay. And he took this promotion really well. And only a few weeks afterwards they had a grand opening at a new location in Polnay. Both his parents and Bolke Bicets were there and they could not all of them couldn't make Pony happier. There was something else that's going to happen because during the party that Pinky had organized for the celebrators, Sephir proposed to the bulk biceps. And they all were surprised because he hadn't even mentioned about it, maybe a possible proposal. Uh, proposal. But bulk biceps said yes immediately. And even Pinky threw another party the day after to celebrate this. Verity had offered her her chances, her service had to make this the suits from both and pinky ordered for the, to make this organized party afterwards and the friends to make the food and some music and it was just a great time even after the, that during the wedding where spike had been asked to be the best man to bulk vibe sets and big mac for Sapphire, and they all had a great time, even at the party, which everyone had an amazing time. There were a lot of dancing, food, music, even bold biceps were welcomed to the family. And even though that bold biceps were first and skeptical how this relationship would work out, but he was just happy to be with the, mer the stallion he loved the most. Even afterwards, after the party was over, it was time for them to go on their honeymoon. And they actually went to Crystal Empire for a whole week. And even there, they had this amazing time, just relaxing, having romantic dinners or picnics in the area, which is enjoying this spa in the, in the Crystal Empire. But when they came back, they had actually started a new life and even had entered a new chapter in their life together. And they even had they even moved in in Bulk Bites' home. But after two years, Bulk Bites had asked had asked Sophia 
if he felt it was time maybe starting a family together. And Sophia said, well, I have been thinking about it for the past few months, if I had to admit. And I feel ready to be a parent. But he first thought if he was going to ask a surrogate mom for the, in order to, bathe, for the, to have a new one of babies, or maybe have adopting. Then this was, took the idea for a surrogate, but they didn't know who to ask. But then, a surprise of all, Twilight, she had offered to be the surrogate for them, and they both agreed. So after a few months, they had a daughter, and they weren't decided maybe to have Max free children. So they had asked Twilight if she wanted to maybe have them another time, which she agreed. And they had them twin daughters. And they were just happy to have three children together and even thank Twilight for the help of her health. And she just said, all for friends is to help. And that's how Sapphire Breeze and both goodbyes got their family and a true love. The end.